What's going on guys? It is Sunday evening. It's about 11 p.m. And I decided to come in here to the shop, get some paperwork done before I have to go to work. And I do still have my other job. I haven't decided to do that yet. And probably not going to be this year. I'm, I'm hoping it will be next year. Uh, but what I did is I switched my shifts. So now I'm on third shift, which allows me to uh, work less hours there. Third shift, I'm only there for 32 hours. Uh, before I was there for 40 and uh, that just saves me eight hours throughout the week just doing that so I decided to go ahead and do that so kind of what my schedule is going to be now is you know I work from midnight to 7 a.m. at my other job and I'm going to come straight to the shop we get everything lined out and we're going to go mow uh, there is going to be some days to where I send the guys off to go mow and you know I stay here and do do whatever uh, but I am going to get out and go mow a lot more than I did last year. Um, I think I need to be out there a little bit more last year, like I said before. just didn't go as well as I wanted it to, so uh, I think I need to be a little bit more hands-on this year. But for this video, I want to share with you guys, uh, last Friday we went out with another lawn care company, Grass Monkey Lawn Care. He had a sod job he wanted some help on. So me, Jesse, and Albero, we went out there and we helped him. So let me show you some footage from the sod job. My father told me when I was young Don't play with fire, be careful, son But we were flames and fell in love We burned the cities down, down Before you learned to listen You won't be lonely if you fall in love Over and over again and again done so far. Not too shabby. Me and Albero, we're definitely getting worn out here. I think it looks pretty good though. We're almost there. One thing we did is we left Sod out here to do this. This little section right here, we ended up leaving too much. Now we're going to take that one and out to the other side of the house. Oh well. Alright guys, we are done with the sod. Me and Albero is back here at the shop. We're loading up to go do a cleanup. And uh, we're going to load up both walkers. Because we actually got some mowing to do as well. A lot of bagging. Uh, first cuts. Alright, so we got to make sure we have everything. And I think I'm actually going to take the uh, Dewalt hedge trimmers because we have five pampas grass to cut and a big bush. That way we can both be cutting at the same time and get this done a little bit faster. Right. I opened this one up for the first time yesterday. The chainsaw. The water stuff? Yeah. Check this out. Yeah. 
Surprisingly, that has a lot more power than I thought it was going to. Should we take it and play with it? <laughs> Let's do it. Yeah. Let's take it. Whoops. Yeah, we're both pretty worn out after that saw job, but we got to get this done. Definitely don't want to start off next week behind. I want that trash can over here with the tarp in it. There it is. We'll use that tarp to dump our grass. Since the back of the truck is already full from yesterday's cleanup, I didn't want to go to the dump because I want to combine them and save a little money. All right, I think we got everything. Here's one for here's some stuff from yesterday's cleanup. So, like I said, whenever I didn't want to go to the dump because I wanted to kind of combine them and save a little money. Uh, the dump's usually only twenty-five dollars, but that's an extra. That saves me twenty-five dollars only going once. So. take these straps just in case you never know a barrel where you at hey you want a water you want two all right so after the saw job me and Alberto we came back to the shop we hooked up the trailer, loaded up some equipment, and we went out because we had a we had a pretty good size cleanup to do. Uh, this lady wanted her uh, her entire yard bagged for the you know first cut of the year, so we did that. We she had a big uh, juniper bush there in the front, which I think I might have messed up on. I used the hedge clippers on. I posted a picture on Instagram. Somebody mentioned that you're not supposed to shear those. Uh, you're supposed to hand prune those, which I've never seen anybody do before around here. Uh, maybe I haven't been paying attention, but I started out with my steel uh, hedge trimmers. I think they're a little bit dull, so I went to the Dewalt ones. They worked a lot better, and I think it was just because they were sharp. But the uh, you know the Dewalt ones they worked really really good. So basically, you know, I'm just kind of wanting to get some ideas uh, from you guys. You know, do you guys hand print them? Do you shear them? What do you guys do? Uh, have you had any problems with shearing them? Um, just just let me know if you would but anyway this cleanup here like I said they wanted all that done they wanted a flower bed cleaned out a mowed we had some pampas grass to trim and uh, let's see what footage we got from that came out pretty pretty well um, like I said me and Albero we were we were super tired after the saw job we were pretty pretty wore out but we went ahead and we knocked it out and um, I know I slept really really well that night I bet you Albero did too so just to kind of touch base on kind of how the season is going right now uh, this week coming up we have a full week of mowing we're gonna get a lot of mowing in 
The week after, it's supposed to rain a lot, so we probably won't be mowing a whole lot, uh, which is fine because usually after we mow everything for the first time, we usually kind of wait a week, and uh, it's just not growing as fast, and then we kind of start off, uh, you know, weekly after that. So, you know, actually the rain is coming at a pretty good time. Um, I think I have one sod job scheduled that week. I haven't got the the, the final go ahead, but I think I think they're going to have me do it. Um, there's also another landscape job we might be doing that week, so trying to kind of fill up some time during that week and uh, just kind of, you know, fill up, you know, pick up some jobs throughout that throughout that week, and hopefully it doesn't rain too much to, you know, uh, take away from any jobs that we might pick up. But but after that, I think we're going to be, uh, you know, basically a full go on the uh, on the year, mowing everything weekly, biweekly. Um, I'm still getting calls. I'm still picking up some, some clients. I picked up another one Friday. Uh, it's a really good one, I think, because it's really easy. It's just right down the street. Uh, I got a, actually got a text from a, a customer today that I already mowed a couple properties for. They want me to go bid on another one. So, you know, that's just kind of the jobs I'm getting, a lot of mowing jobs, and, you know, that's what I want. So I just wanted to touch base with everybody, kind of tell you guys what we did last week and what we got going on uh, coming up in the next couple weeks. And I hope you guys are doing well. In the meantime, be happy, be humble, and stay hungry. See you guys later.